Well, the weather has certainly cooperated. It's a perfect day for football here at Goodison Park on Merseyside. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Ben Godfrey, number 25, And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Jean-Philippe Gabama plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas Moura out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Oliver Skip. Now Harry Kane. Lucas. Skip. Emerson. And players waiting in the centre. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Godfrey went in strongly to win the ball. Lucas and teammates to play it to. Fabier. Now Son. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Corner kick played in. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Kane. Emerson. Lucas Moura. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Skip. Now Harry Kane. Song. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Breaking at pace. Jean Philippe Gabama. Oliver Skip. Lucas with it. Well, Spurs have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes or so and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. The cut back. Able to get a body in the way. Townsend. Godfrey. Crossing possibilities. He made it look simple, really. Oliver Skip. Emerson. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Lucas. Skip. Spurs pushing forward with options available. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Alan, Godfrey, and here's Alan. Gray now, and an astute piece of defending. Lucas. So nearing the half-time interval, and it's Everton narrowly behind here. Stewart, intra bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. towards Lucas Harry Kane fluency of movement cuts it back will he find the net and a goal they're going to take some stopping now two in front here well here's the replay he's done well to get his head up pick out a teammate and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But they took care of the situation defensively. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Son. Reguilon. Now Harry Kane. Here's Gabana. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. And back underway, no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Everton in the second? Townsend. Gray. Townsend. Across there that was decidedly ordinary. Javier. In the right place to cut out the pass. Townsend. And they could get one back here. And it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Possession one. He's going forward well here. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Substitution for Tottenham. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. 29, Oliver Skip. Coming onto the pitch, number 18, Giovanni Lucenzo. Javier. Davis. Here's Lo Celso. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Really good high press. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Great effort to keep that one in play. Lucas. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Son. And a goal it is for Tottenham Hotspur. Well on course for victory here. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish.
Gray. Townsend. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Damari Gray. And number 25, Jean Philippe Gavani. To be replaced by number 33, Solomon Rondon. And number 8, Fabian Delph. Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Alan, Richarlison, there it is, a fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish, he'll be pleased with that. Everton just one behind now, and you sense the momentum may be with them. Steven Bergwijn, less than convincing defending, and narrowly off target here. Well, it's still all to play for, but that was a good effort, wasn't it? And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Number five, Pierre Emil Huber. Coming onto the pitch. Number 28, Tangai Ndombele. Delph. And on the ball, Keane. Alan. Alan. Coleman. Cross fired over. Well, the header was respectable, but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered. Substitution for Everton. And time for the change now. Number 22, Ben Godfrey. Coming onto the pitch. Number 12, Luka Dean. Emerson. Emerson. Lucas. Now Harry Kane. And fed forwards. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. A deft clearance. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Maybe in Delph. Firing it towards goal. And the danger is averted. Top class defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Ndombele, real chance. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. They might be able to get in now. Alan, oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Playing it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Well cleared away. Rondon. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, Son, you've got to say, scaling impressive heights and not for the first time. Stewart, he turns on the style yet again. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.